The Varrock Sewers. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're pretty underground. They're populated by many monsters and one balding bankless boy. That's right, we are locking ourselves as an ultimate Iron Man into the Varrock Sewers Edgefield Dungeon Industrial Complex. Few quick exceptions to make this work. We got 51 agility, bronze pick and a hammer, and I'll tell you the rest of this later because we are making like Johnny Sins again to the bottom of this hole. At this moment, I am overcome with anticipation, excitement, and the realization that I really don't like rats. But we're gonna have to face our fear to overcome these abysmal stats and- Hey, 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 Okay, uh, so first obstacle, the giant rats are... are aggressive. This is it. I have discovered it. The pinnacle of RuneScape efficiency. I am genuinely uncertain of if there is anybody in the entire world of RuneScape that is having as much fun as I am playing this game right now. Good times aside, let's get back to talking about some of the restrictions of this account. We are of course an ultimate by the way, which means no trading, no banks, nobody talks to us. We are a smelly sewer incel. I'm alone. We are only allowed to get our stinky little hands on smelly sewer stuff, except for the exceptions mentioned earlier and one more mystery exception to be revealed later. And the hardest restriction of all, we're playing on the official client. While you were off accomplishing your life's goals, I was kicking the rats. Job done, account complete, we did it boys. Two entire strength levels, I, I knew we could do it. What, two wasn't round enough for you? How about five? Now this is my controversial math opinion, but five in fact is not a round number. It is very much indeed an odd number. But hey, five and five does make ten, and I believe that I checked my Pythagorean theorem, and I believe that that is a round number. Quick game knowledge check. Did you know that a, uh, a level one rat spawns here? Because uh, I know. I in fact know that there is a level one rat that, that spawns here. Okay, we've been through all of this before. You understand, we're on the same page at this point. 15 is not a round number. Do not listen to the lies that Archimedes is telling you. You cannot burn boats with mirrors! <laughs> Stop. Stop updating your game. This, this, is, this is where the fun is. <laughs> with all of our homeless sewer rat man kicking training, I, I feel a little bit more confident about taking on these bigger rats some more consistently. And no one's surprised. Check out our health bar. Check out this rat spawn that you now know about. And check out this 10 strength levels. Dear Guthics, I honor you by burying these rat bones right here in this sewer grime. Now let's talk about processing materials. We are sewer people. We don't talk to the upstairs light drinking normies. But we will allow ourselves to break and enter those normies homes to use their stoves, anvils, and furnaces to process our sewer materials. And now with the procurement of our free range rat meats combined with our newly gained combat skills, we can take on a real challenge. And take out all of our aggression on the Walking Dead series for ironically not knowing how to end itself. As it turns out our grubby little sewer hands lack the sufficient strength to take out the Zambazams. So a flinch and we shall go! 10 minutes of clicking on a zombie and literally desiring nothing more than doing so later, we have acquired bones! And the iron arrows that I'm pretty certain we'll never be able to fire. But let's talk about why we're going after the Zambazams. For the other 99.9% .9 of RuneScape players, the zombie drop table is completely filled with useless garbage. But for us, it contains our first gear upgrades, our jumping off point, our launching point into becoming the greatest heroes the Varrock Sewers have ever known. Ah, oh, fantastic, my Mithril Simi is here. <laughs> Insurance is just a legalized pyramid scheme. Woo! I feel guthics in this sewer tonight. So these zombies kind of strong, but now we are powered up with 17 volt strength levels and a full big old honking backpack of rat meats. This video is brought to you by Arby's. We have the rat meats. Hey, a uh, quick game knowledge check. Did you know that there's a level one rat that spawns here because uh. A level one rat spawns here. Do you even bench, bro? Because, uh, pfft, <laughs> how much do I bench? <laughs> 20. All right, I'm full up on high protein rat meats. I've, I've been hitting the gym. Let's give these Zambazams what for. Uh, so, as it turns out, <laughs> zombies are strong. <laughs> at least when you don't have any equipment. Uh, but at the very least, we've gotten a little bit of fishing bait. That's nice. Completely useless, but nice. It's something stackable that we can keep track of in the inventory. 
And so, our stinky sewer boy spent the next few hours grinding out levels and rat meats to better challenge the zombies deeper in the sewers. Darby, sponsor me with your rat meats. So many levels, so many rats, so many zombies struggling to take them down for absolutely nothing useful. Hey look, something useful. I mean, look at this inventory. I am the richest boy in the entire sewer system. <laughs> we have an actual equipment upgrade! Oh, we can finally cover little Simpletic's bald spot and uh, do we have the defensive bonuses? Uh, this is this is the best day of my life. Oh, they're they're really beating me up. I need some more of the Arby's meats. Alright, we restocked on some delicious Arby's and uh we're, we're, we're getting about three kills to a trip uh, here, and we still have gotten nothing really useful. Uh, just as soon as I said it, uh, hey, hey, look at that! <laughs> so, uh, magic is something that we have access to in our sewery home. Many more hours passed, many more Zambies died. Got a genie, don't know what to do with that lamp, but uh, hey, look at that! We got a dupe! I want a weapon! So let's avoid sounding too repetitive. You know, we praise the Guthics, we, we eat the Arby's, we, we kill the Zambies, it just things happen. But I will say that each and every one of these rune drops is going to be just such a game changer down the line. I, that, okay, uh, this usually like one of the most useless randoms, but I'm thinking that uh, <laughs> we need to hang on to every strange fruit that we can possibly get down here in the sewers. I mean, we might not need them for the next, like, 10 hours of gameplay, but, I mean, are we gonna get more than two or three in that time anyways? This is the first time I've, I've properly played Ultimate Iron Man, and it is just so satisfying to get something that's stackable, to know that I can hang on to this until it is useful. Hey, a random, uh, are we gonna, are we gonna try and hang on to outfit pieces to get the collection log slots? Well, oh, so why not? Hey, I got pants. I got pants and uh, some cute little white gloves. No stats associated, but but I'm a fashionable boy, and, and that's that's ultimately what matters at the end of the day. I need more Arby's. Drinking milk, doing push-ups, missing clips. It's all in a good day's work. Harry Potter stuff. Level 20, basically Carmi. Neville Longbottom stuff. I am become Nicholas Cage, keeper of bees. Guess what, Mr. Level? Come on, you could have guessed that. I am the boy who lived. Hey, uh, hey, hey, how are you doing there? Yeah, guess what? Level. Well, this, um, this feels awful. <laughs> now I understand why people don't play Ultimate Iron Man. And, and I mean, I want to hang on to these guams, but we're going to run out of inventory space soon. <laughs> I have so many hearts. Stop. Stop it. Stop. I might, um, I, I might be a toxic gamer. It's just, wh why, why would you do this in a multi-combat area? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, I, I promise. I promise I'll stop. I'll, I'll be a good boy. Are we going to do it? Are we going to be a master chef? Hey! Zero burns. We have mastered the cooking skill. All on rat meats out of the sewers. Let the bodies hit my inventory. I mean, we're able to make much longer trips now with our levels. We're not taking all that much damage from the, the zombies, but I'm I'm feeling really burnt. We, we've, we've taken out a lot of zombies. <sighs> Don't... Don't... This non-hyperbolically changes everything. This is it. This is the first building block of the foundation of the fortress that Sewer Simp shall become.